Welcome back to Snapjaw Slaughter. <laughs> That's pretty much what the beginning of this game is. It's fair enough. Is that fresh water? Nah. Of course not. Sometimes you do have to drink um, the brackish water though. For uh, reasons. Medicine in Caves of Code is uh, a little bit odd. Have I got a spare arm? I could put it in my hand, I don't know if that works. Uh, right arm to... Yeah, it just seems to be hurting my dodge value and not actually providing any armor. A pocketed vest, now that's going to be worth cash monies. Um, which slot does it go on? It does go on the body. Screw that. Stick with my chainmail. <coughs> Why did you stop? What's in this corner here? Ah, trash. Sandals of the river wives. Might be worth something. Ah, oh, fuck you. Fucking plants. Am I gonna bleed to death? Nope. Well, that's some dread root. Yeah, and there's a, another thing about this tile set. I mean, the dread root is just impossible to see, you know? I think that speeds seed spitting vine is hitting him from behind. Which is nice. Ah, uh, iron longsword. Yes please. Um left hand two. <laughs> I'm wielding three swords. Fuck you. Uh, I should pay attention to how much damage I'm doing. Hit times three for eleven damage. Yeah, I mean it doesn't help that these snap jaws have like no health. Ah shit. Have to kill that jilted lover first. A steel longsword. Yoink. Uh, put that in my primary first right hand. Ouch. Auto explore. Why? Why you make me run into vines? Oh, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> you could do with a torch. I'm just saying. Uh, where, which hand was I holding the torch in? Left hand. Ah, there we go. Torch. Um, Alright. Thankfully, I didn't actually horribly die there, but... If auto explore had its way, see it doesn't it doesn't stop you unless it sees something. And if it's completely pitch black, it doesn't see anything. So we're hungry. We haven't run out of food, have we? Um. <laughs> yes, yes we have. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Not at all. We can eat these snap jaws though. Mmm, delicious. Yummy. Alright, so I, I'm moving towards things, and uh, whoa, I hit for 25 damage there. Yeah, I'm like stunning things as I'm moving towards them. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ring mail. Uh, I think that's. It's the same stats as. Whoops, didn't mean to take it all. Uh, I think it's the same stats as my chain mail, but it's um, weighs less. So let's have a look. Thirty-five pounds, and the ring mail. Fifteen pounds. Yeah. So I bought that chain mail. Oh no, that's um even less dodge value. But it's already negative. Um, so that means... Yeah, I have negative chance to dodge, so... Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Yeah, so we stick with the lighter armor. It's a bit strange that it has less of a chance to dodge. 
Um, was it being lighter? Oh shit. Cave spider. I made you bleed. I see your dread roots. Uh, I'm gonna grab some of the salty water. Because it's always nice to have some around for when you inevitably catch fire. Uh oh. I'm dead. Oh, I managed to kill the slug snout. Wow. That was uh, a bit of a close call, though. Yeah, I just blundered into that room with a fucking slug snout in it. Not a good idea. Uh, what did you have? Crud. A steel warhammer, though. It's probably worth something. Uh, so is that, I think. I don't know. I should, um, I should store, like, an encyclopedic knowledge of what is worth what in this game. But, I don't. Uh, lacquered steel vine reaper is definitely going to be worth a fair bit, though. Let's eat these corpses. Oh, nom nom. Let's get away from that vine while we fight these guys. Did us a bit of favor there. Remain stunned. I stunned the vine. <laughs> what is the point of this thing? Decorative wreath. Whatever. And let's take this steel short sword. <clears throat> wow, that was a tough vine. Yeah, lots of steel weapons now. Getting down to the tough part of the uh, red rock. What was that? Oh. Spitting vine, of course. And one of these guys lurking in the corner. Whoa, he hit for a lot of damage there. Uh, I'm still hungry despite eating several of these guys. Whoa, stop. That was just a dread root making me panic. Uh, those are worth a fair bit, I think. Steel utility knife. It's a short blade. Still hungry. Crazy. What was that? Ah, you bastard. All these guys have bows. They don't have any muskets or anything like that. I would like a musket. If at least a cell. Eh, I'll leave that. Critical hit from a vine. Okay. Alright, down to... Is it the last level? Yep. And we've immediately been set upon by a gershling. Uh, pretty tough, but we're doing okay. Alright, so I've got to take a corpse, haven't I? There we go. Lead slugs and stuff. That's a beetle bum. He's fine. One of these pools could be fresh water. There's usually one down here. What the? I made a save, apparently. I don't know what that was. What about you? There is a way to tell by the tile, I think, which um, kind of water it is, but I'm just not that observant, I guess. Alright, I'm going to have some fun with this beetle bum. Well, I guess he is moving around a bit. I was going to push him into one of the, <laughs> one of the jilted lovers, just because I'm cruel. Okay, uh, there was some kudzu there. I'm glad that I didn't get rusted by it. Alright, let's, um, right, I picked up bloody dreadroot. Get out of my way. Alright, uh, I can eat one of these. That hits the spot. There we go. Some corpses are... Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, some corpses are more filling than others, but... Nine drams of blood. Holy shit. Yeah, it's tempting to take it. I mean, it is mine, after all. 
you know, I should have it back. <laughs> Stuff, let's logs, all right. So it's supposed to stop me before I walk into these vines, but it never does. Uh oh, all right, that's fine. Uh, nope. Keep hold of one of them though, because if I don't have any food on the way back to Jopper, I might end up eating <laughs> the corpse that I need to finish the quest, which would be unfortunate. Okie doke. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty tough. They're taking, uh, they're taking their hits, like. But they're not doing too much damage to me, so. Brackish water, lead slugs, something in here. Ah, there's the glow white zealot. He died very, very quickly. I'm surprised by that. Normally, those guys are pretty tough. I leveled up by killing a young ivory. Nice. Okay, I got three mutation points. Regeneration level up. Uh, let's level up my horns. Lagging behind. And my arms. So currently, 12% chance of an additional melee attack. Whenever we melee. Uh, no attribute points. Lots of skill points though. Uh... Let's go with, what is this, intercept. Whenever a creature moves into a square adjacent to you, there's a 0.5% chance you take a free attack. That's, um, <laughs> that's incredibly tiny. Uh, it says parry and repost. Occasionally you parry your opponent's melee attacks up to twice a turn. Uh, I like the sound of that. We'll go with that. Uh, let's see. Got 90 points remaining. Uh, I'm gonna get butchery. Um, oh shit. Fucking young ivory is everywhere. Uh, okay, that's the end of this place. Fucking dreadroot. <laughs> Stop it. I'm trying to move. Copper nuggets. Ah, oh, there's so many of them down here. Kill those dread root just because. Now there's definitely a pool of clean water down here because there always is. Uh, but I don't know where it is, so I guess we're just gonna ignore it. Oh my god, I can't move in this place. Um, all right. Stop bleeding just in time. What? Mm, okay. I think I accidentally pressed go to stairs down. There are no stairs down. I could be picking stuff up on the way out to uh, trade, but I can't be bothered. You're lost. I'm like right here by Joppa where I've already been. <laughs> Instantly regained my bearings. That's why I manually walk there, honestly. It makes sense. Alright, uh, he's restocked. That's good. Have all this stuff. Oh, I didn't realize I found an artifact. <laughs> Gershling Corpse. It's worth money. But I'll keep hold of it. Uh, all of this stuff. Um, that's an axe. Yep. So we don't want that. Short bows, meh. Um, I'm already up to what they have, basically. Slender weird artifact. Let's go for it. Let's find out what it is. It'll be some kind of gun. It's probably a shotgun. No, I think about it. Uh, carbide longsword, though. Yeah, fuck that. That's probably a shotgun. Much, much rather have a carbide longsword. Oh, yes. <coughs> uh, so, yeah, that evens it up. He's still paying me. 
the privilege of giving me an amazing sword. So I'll put it in my primary hand. Uh, put the steel sword in my primary left hand. Zilli Iron Sword. And find out what this artifact is. Yes. Uh, what are you? A freeze grenade. Okie doke. Well, I still haven't used that poison gas grenade. Whoa, lag. <laughs> what that was. I have found these things. Alright, let's go talk to the boss man. I return from Red Rock with the corpse of a pale spiderling. Where did the Gershlings come from? There's some really nice lore in this. Uh, I do recommend reading it yourself. But for the sake of brevity and actually making some progress, I'll skip over most of it. If I, I get if I get far enough into the main quest line that we visit some of the less uh, visited places. And I'll, I'll actually start reading some stuff out. Uh, I can eat these. Actually, I could probably sell one to this guy. What's that? Seven drams. Oh. Uh, salty water isn't worth anything. That's sad. If I'd not eaten that other one. Oh well. I'll just have to give him some water that never gets... <laughs> never get stored in anything. I think it just poured it on the floor, like... Yeah, I'll, I'll just drink it off the floor, it's fine. Uh, he doesn't have food. I think the Warden does, though. Uh, I believe the Warden actually keeps stuff. Yeah, he's got a hundred bucks, actually. Alright, there's nothing to trade. Uh, that's... Irritating, actually, because he has water, so I know he could buy some of my stuff. Okay, uh, so now we have to collect copper wire. Um, search the rust wells east of Joppa. Yep, have to go to the rust wells, which is terrifying because I have really nice equipment. <laughs> Uh, sure, let's have a look at these ruins. And, yeah, I'm gonna have to forego auto-explore, I think. Uh, I don't have any ranged weapons. It's the kudzu vines that worry me. Because they'll rust my bloody carbide sword, won't they? What the hell was that? Oh, seed-spitting vine. That has to die first, of course. And now we kill snap jaws. Which have nothing of value. Surprise, surprise. Uh, oh, stop! <laughs> Bloody hell. Why, why have you stopped now? Oh, there's something over there. What the fuck is that? That's a Snapjaw shotgunner. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's got a shotgun. Right. Killed it, one shot at it. In fact, uh, I'm gonna activate my windmill stents since we're surrounded. It's not particularly useful when you just one shot everything, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, pocketed vest that was worth like seven bucks or something, uh, and it's uh, it weighs two pounds, so it's worth it. Right, we have a shotgun now. Let's hope we don't break it. Yep. Uh, let's load it. And go ahead and equip that. There we go. Uh, it only holds one... Why are you picking up... Right, I think it's picking up the willowy... Uh, sword there because I have the willow stents, but... Oh, that's weird. You can only use one stance and it puts a cooldown on all of them. I suppose it makes sense. 
Uh, why have you stopped? I do not know. There must be something in there, though. I probably could get through this um, shale wall. Yeah, there we go. Uh, can't get through the Fulcree wall, though, without a bloody missile launcher. I don't think there's anything in there. It wouldn't generate a room with no way in, would it? <laughs> it might. I don't know. Uh, okie doke. What on earth is that? It's a glow moth. Uh, now I'm glad I have a ranged weapon. So I wouldn't have been able to hit that either. otherwise. There we go. What do you have? Nothing of value. Oh my god, what's that? It's an albino ape. Uh, that's pretty bad. They're quite tough. Oh, I sadly haven't butchered it for its skin, though. Those are worth a lot. Uh, skillful butchery. Can't unlock that just yet. Ugh, piggy. I can unlock... I can butcher the piggies, though. Alright, iron axe, and... Yeah, not great, those ruins, I gotta say. I'm thoroughly unimpressed by them. Okay, let's go on to the rust wells. Uh, I suppose we're 20 minutes in, so... Good place as any. <laughs> we can see what we have ahead of us here. Monkeys. Join me next time for monkeys.